Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Americans bought nearly 60 million guns between 2020 and 2022. And it's not hard to understand why. People are scared. Each day brings news of another gun violence tragedy, and most don't even make the headlines. It's natural to think that we need guns to feel safe, but the way to stop gun violence is not with more guns. The risk of homicide is three times higher when there are guns in a home. Women who own handguns are 35 times more likely to commit suicide than those who don't. Men are eight times more likely. And to be clear, this isn't about taking away guns from responsible gun owners. We can live in a country with a healthy Second Amendment, but where we don't have multiple mass shootings or 68 gun suicides a day. Democrats want responsible re solutions to get us there, and we stand ready to work with Republicans and gun owners on policies that will save lives. A few common sense steps, ban high capacity weapons of war, expand background checks and red flag laws, increase access to mental health care, hold gun manufacturers accountable. This is the number one cause of death for American children. So let's stop the denial. The crisis won't end until we take decisive action. We can't just shoot our way out of it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.